Hello and welcome back to Dark Souls 2 History Lord is in the demand. Apparently we're supposed to check up here. But from what I see there's just an archer here. And I don't know if it's worth the hassle. Oh oh That is also something that's here. Hello. Um, you don't look very nice. Has anyone told you that? Bye. You know, with that many wings, you'd expect him to be able to fly. That many meaning two wings. Yep. But two wings usually still means the ability to fly. Right, what's behind this door? Read message. Oh, it's a pointer store. It's not an actual door. It's one of those taunting things. The appears is a door, but it's not actually a door. Okay, how do we unlock the King's Passage anyway? Because we have the key now. Oh wait, no. I think I remember where the door was. Right. Okay, cool. Now, we got some sorcerer's outfit pieces. So there's that. Uh, we also... Defeated the gargoyle, apparently. Wait, 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 wait. I just realized the gargoyle may have had loot. Which means I maybe should quit the menu and come back to the roof to see if he dropped anything. Because that's apparently the way to handle situations where someone who should have dropped loot went off in a random direction. This moment is here. Nope, there was no loot. God damn it. No, don't you dare attack me. <laughs> I wonder if he actually thought I was one of the shade enemies. Or if he had another reason to attack me. Though so far, from what I've seen, all the shades have spears. No, it's not spears, crossbows. That's the one. That's rather different from a spear. Alright, let's rest. Because there's no reason not to rest right now. I don't think there is a reason to rest, not to rest anyway. So, let's come here. And we can open the passage. Um... Does it look safe? An alluring skull. Three of them. Apparently this is a dangerous matter. But if you know what you're attacking, you can destroy them before anything else happens. Alright, and this looks like the last one. Good for me. This is what I get for reading directions on the internet. I get to kick ass. Sometimes I get to chew bubblegum. Sometimes I can do both at the same time. Which is awesome. Alright, so I've got two companions for this. And I think we can walk in. So now, this is the battle I was previously very worried about. Because this asshole has magical abilities of being an asshole. There is a lot of magic into being an asshole. Okay, I'm gonna expect to have to tank this. Tanking that isn't a good idea. Good to know. Well, in that case... At least try to focus your attention on someone else, you motherfucker. 
There's like plenty of people trying to kill you. My focus on me, in particular. Oh no, don't summon. Don't you dare summon anyone. He dared summon someone. Uh, luckily for us, I think we got rid of the summon. Right, Bernhardt? Show him what you've got. Okay. Ah. My face, my beautiful face. Don't you dare. Alright. And. There we go, looking guys tonight down. And now we should have a vis vision of every bonfire. Though we already had that. It's really noisy here. Lots of rain. I don't like it. Alright. So maybe I should go back and bonfire? On the other hand, I may be able to find the bonfire as I go. Alright. This is the elevator then. Cool, cool. Decent sized elevator. I hope there is a bonfire immediately at hand so I can get the fuck out of here. Uh, let the shard be replaced by an actual flask and maybe level up some. But yeah, I think I'll look into getting a minimum amount of intelligence and faith going so I can maybe go for the Black Knight Greatsword. Which is not the same as the Ultra Greatsword, but uh, I don't know actually. Because I have everything but the faith for the Ultra Greatsword. So that might be an option worth considering instead. What do you have? A Green Blossom. Handy maybe? What happened to you? How did you die? Um. All right. There's a bonfire here. How did people keep dying? Before reaching that bonfire. Wait, there's a shiny there. How do you get there? Not from up there by the looks of it. Alright, let's head back to Majula. Though we could also do things with fixed because I have a petrified something. Is that a shard you Yes, it is. To see light. However, thank you. Do I have another? No. No, I don't. It's just the arrow didn't react for some reason. All right. Uh, basic slow. Basic levels of intelligence is faith. Really slowly into play. Really slowly. They don't even do anything yet. But it is a start, but that's the limit of it. I knew. Thank you for knowing that I'd be back, maybe? You've got Bates shield, you've got Bates armor. Do you have what I need? We do. Mm. Exactly the stuff I needed. Thank you kindly. But this does mean I get don't get to upgrade anything right now. Uh, I will stop by things for there. Yep. Alright, alright, alright. Let's just... 
I know, I only know I have a petrified something. But I don't know if I have anything further than that. I probably don't. But it might be a start. It might be just what we need. To get this party started. You, you. Give us more. Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, we only have enough to get the party started. Thank yeah. you. It's an old whip. Uh, that's the weapon I used with my other character. A lot. Primarily for clearing up corridors where there's like a thousand enemies running at you and they're, they're just in a line and you just whip them. You whip them good. Though it does use Twinkling Titanite and Twinkling Titanite is hard to come by as it is. So we can go back to Shrine of Amana now. Though this area, uh, it frightens me slightly. Wow. We're going to say that it was a gorgeous view above. They weren't kidding. Be wary of boulder. Weakness boulder. Can't actually do anything with the boulder. Can we go this way? Is there anything handy this way? Ah, oh, here's the thing. Hello? Are you a friend? A foe? I think that's an answer. Or? I'm gonna assume we can get the item from down there once we get down there. All right. Come on. Come to me, buddy. I know you want to. Fine. What's in you, buddy? Ah, stuff. I am glad that they asked me to be careful about the chest because I really would not have noticed it otherwise. It's as if the whole messaging system is actually meant to help players. <laughs> Who could have imagined? There's a lot of singing going on. You mean this item? Large soul of a nameless soldier. What's that? What is that? I'm gonna try it. There's something fucking creepy, alright? Oh, so everywhere that there are the fireflies, that's where these creepy fellows are. But as long as the singing goes on, I don't think the... Like, the fireflies keep them busy until then. How do I get to the goods? Is there a way indoors? No. Does the water go too deep at a point? Apparently not. But we are considered the fatty for not going on to the other side of this. With ease. Ah, Twinkling Titanite. That is... Acceptable. Okay, let's move back to the center. There's like a ton of the enemies there. Uh, I don't feel comfortable just approaching the situation.
Luckily for me, I can take care of them one by one. And I have a marker to tell me where they are. The marker being the fireflies. As well as the health bar, I suppose. Well, that was a miss. There we go. That guy got close. Got really close. Where's the fellow in white armor? Oh, there he is. He will want to fight me. Now, yeah, okay. I was about to say he will want to fight me in a moment, but uh, that moment approached me faster than I expected. Alright, well. Thank you for your time. I think I got too close to the house and the singing has now stopped. Which seems to mean that these guys are just awake now. There's apparently a reason to hurrah for chest again. I'm gonna close the door behind me so we don't get ambushed. Hopefully. We knew you were coming. And stop singing. We are Milfanito. We are here to sing to those bound by death and dark. We will sing here forever. As we always have from long, long ago. We know nothing of the world outside. And why should we? For we will never leave. Do you even have legs? Do you seek King Vendrick? But what is a king, after all? We know nothing of the world outside. For we will never leave here. You know, one of you is caged up in the castle? We sing the little ones dance. The little ones grant comfort to those who bear death and dark. This is what we were taught. Is there anything wrong? Perhaps this will help. Thank you. This is all that we can do. Are my eyes red? I just remember what eye color I chose, but I don't think I chose red. When we sing, the li the li this. Thank you. Okay. There's a curse turn outside, I think. Probably. Oh yeah, there it is. Can I hit it? Can. There's also but appears to be a chest here. It is a chest. Cool. What's inside? Some crimson water, so that might as well have been rubbish. Alright. These guys no longer know the comfort. Well, Suppose we should head on. 
Try ranged battle. Oh yeah, there's a lot of them. The ranged battle may be advisable. Probably why it was advised. Oh, I missed. Imagine that. Alright, let's take aim. And wonder why they are animated so pluckily at times. There we go. There's a lot of enemies out there. It's not even really funny or anything. That was a miss. There we go. I wonder how much walkable area is in here because there appear to be shinies over there, which is quite far, far away. Like maybe even over the mountain and over the hills, you know? Alright, well, this is gonna be it, but a difficult shot. Nope, apparently not. Come on, come on. There we go. I'm learning the way of the bow here. This is not cheesing, this is just, you know, archery practice. Because, you know, I have no idea how to actually aim attacks, like aim with a Gamepad, so this is all very, very important learning for me. An exceptionally important learning experience. Especially into the ways of how one headshot will not be enough to kill an enemy. In some worlds. Eee, oh, that hit the pillar. See? Just floating me there next to the pillar. Oh, there's an enemy. I couldn't see from beyond the pillar. Pillar. Even. There we go. I don't think there are enough enemies left to actually make it reasonable for me to use the bow. Oh well. Lots of looting to be done though. Oh hey. You skip that. I like your Lucerne though. It's a pretty pretty weapon. Oh. Now she's thinking again. But there's the cliff edge. Finkle Titanite, really? Ooh. If I knew they dropped that, I would have worn... Well, used a rusty coin to increase drop chances. I suppose. Huh. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. There we go. Now we should experience no surprises when I go to date this fellow out on a date. Did you enjoy the dinner? I did. The special was your blood. <laughs>